one of the more powerful tools in OCALC is the Batch Poll Reporting Tool. And what it does is lets you select a whole group of polls and run the same report on each of them and then either print them or export them into a PDF file or in fact merge them together into a single file that you can then use for analysis. So let's take a look at how this works. If I go under Tools and I go to Batch Poll Report, I see my Batch Poll Report tool. Now you see that there's two categories of um, reports. There are what are called bulk reports, which means there's a single report where there's a line item for each of the polls that I'm going to process. And then there are per poll reports, where it is in fact going to do a, one of our more traditional reports, but it's going to do it for each and every poll and then combine them together in the order that I selected. So the first thing we do is we say add polls, and let's say um, I pick these four polls, and there they are, and I can move them up and down to change their order, um, or I can click this button that says I want to sort the files alphabetically, in which case um, when it runs them, it'll ch regardless of the order I have them displayed here, it will sort them alphabetically and then include them in the report in that order. Now here's an interesting feature that I can say um, uh, all versions are all load cases. So as we've seen before in OCALC, you can have multiple versions of polls in a single PPLX file. And on each poll, you can have one or more load cases. And by default, one of the versions is selected as active, and one of the load cases is selected as active. And if you don't click this option, then what it does is it just uses the, the currently active version, applies the currently active load case, and prints the report. But if I click all versions, and all load cases, what it will do is exactly what it says. It will open up each file and actually perform the analysis for each version of the poll for each available load case. And so if I'm doing something, for example, like a sensitivity analysis, uh, I can easily apply all the load cases without having to manually change the file and do each thing. Um, then I can say, okay, I want to make it, I want to output it to files, not to the printer. I want to do one file per poll. And I'm going to then go ahead and say, oh, I have to actually select a reporter. It won't let me do anything. I'm going to do the capacity summary, and I'm going to perform the uh, um, analysis report. Now it lights up. It says, let me do it. It says, where's the folder that, that, uh, that I want to put that? I select the folder, and I say, OK. And off it goes and, and, and creates all the reports and creates the files. It's fairly time consuming, so I'm not going to do it here. But it's extremely powerful in that it lets you do all manner of analyses and comparisons and then save those results for later analysis.